You just ate your first ever breakfast at basic training. How was it? Was it loud? I bet it was. Was it scary? I bet it was. Were you hungry? Probably not. I did not eat that first breakfast. I was so scared out of my mind. I just did not want to eat. And I wanted to eat or no. I did not want to eat because I couldn't. I just had no room in my stomach. But that's enough of that. What you will do now is go out. Uh, like half a mile away and this is where you get your first clothing issue. This is where I come down to memory lane. Give me one second. Stand by. How's your day going? You got snacks? Uh, it's Friday in here. It's the weekend. Give me one second. Go ahead and skip forward a bit if you'd like to. Get dressed as fast as I can. Go ahead and skip forward if you haven't yet. Gosh, it feels so freaking baggy. Weird. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> this is what, <laughs> and they're still crooked. This is what Trainee Brown, <laughs> this is what Trainee Brown looked like. <laughs> oh, I didn't even cuff my wrist. Okay, you gotta have it cuffed to, gotta be conformed around the wrist you see how here it goes around my wrist you see gotta make sure that doesn't happen but this is how you wear your ABUs you will get ABUs real quick ABUs stand for airman battle uniform now you won't necessarily have your nameplate or this that you get your name tape um uh, <laughs> Third week of training, same day that um, you get your blues. I already said that. So as you see, I mean, I guess it's pretty nice and all. This is what you look like. Let me show you my feet now. This is what your feet will look like. Kind of, eh, I suppose. Now I'm going to show you something very important. These are combat boots. These are very, I haven't worn these in a while. This is how you properly lace your shoes. As you see right here, you have this top bar. That is very important. You see how it, uh, this lace right here is on the inside. It goes out to in. And then here it goes in to out. The first time you make a cross is out to in, and the rest is in to out, in to out. Because when you put them, oh, whoa! I'm sorry. When you tightly lace them, as you see, you get this nice thing in above. And I'm gonna show you how to properly lace, I mean, how to properly blouse your boots. So pretend that you have three minutes to get dressed. What time is it? It's, it's, we are like four minutes in. I'm gonna spend a little more time here. Uh, these, see this? These are the blousing straps you are given. Here, let's send you out a little more. So you got a little more light. Can you see well? Nah, okay. When you're blousing your pants, pretend, so you see how you have a little extra room? What you want to do is fold it up so it's like that. So Mr. Brown, how do you do that? First of all, get your socks, you put them, put your boot on. Oh my goodness. You t put, tuck this up, you grab it up. And you grab this, make sure you get all nice and rubbed up as you see. And then you tie your shoe. 
something you also should do is tie a little, can you see it? Tie a little knot right there so that way it doesn't go through the little eyelet. So you tie your shoes, you gotta tuck your laces around, tuck them in, tuck them in, tuck them in. Now you have your blousing strap, you wrap it around. Do you see the two hooks? So you hook them around, and then you grab your blousing straps, tuck it under, and voila. The proper way to do it is grab it and pull it back. That way it's like all in the back and then the front looks good. This is how it looks proper. Except when you're walking around, so let's say I have a, had a big day. Now, as you see, it's all baggy-ish right here. Well, you'll get sometimes a lot of this and a lot of that. I, I know it doesn't look like much, but it look, to me, it just doesn't look good. So when you go on that first BX run, instead of buying those, you buy these. These bad boys really do the trick. So we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the difference between blousing this way and blousing with, what are these called? These are just a th like a thicker elastic. So as you see, this is super thin, this is more wide. Ask your MTL, uh, MTI, ask your military training instructor what they can do, if, what you can and can't do. Really, uh, say it's to have the utmost dress and appearance and they can't say no to that, really. So you have this in. It's a lot more comfortable as well because it's flat and it's not round. It's not like choking your leg. So grab it up. Grab it, grab it up. And you tie your shoes. You have to do this quick. You have to be able to tie your shoes in under like as fast as you can pretty much. So I'm gonna show you the difference. Grab it, push it back. Oh boy, I haven't done this in a while. So bear with me. This is what it looks like with the other one. This is what it looks like with this. Now the proper way, if you truly want to get it right, I'm gonna take my pants off. Don't worry, as you saw earlier, I have my shorts on, so I'm not naked. If you have a little extra time, which you most likely won't, best thing to do. Oh, oh, let me talk about socks. This is, these are your green socks. These go, see I have my shorts on. These go above your knee. So when you're marching, it's very uncomfortable, especially back here. So you want to take that sock and fold it so it like gives you a little more breathing room. Do this during, let's say graduation, where you have the time. You want to pull it all back, fold it, and then put it over. Now what does this do, Mr. Brown? Well, you do that. And then we pull our pants up. You see it in the back. It like forms around. You're not, so I did this wrong. You're not supposed to see any sock. And this is how you do it. So you see, that's a nice well looking blouse. In the back, you see that fold? Oh, crisp. Crisp and clean. Now, pardon me. I'm going to undress. So you take your shoes off. You learn a quick way to do it. Oh my, excuse me. I still have my wonky glasses on. So you learn a really quick way 
to take your boots off because one, you had a very hot day and you want to get out of your clothes as much as you can and take that nice shower. So you take your pants off. Pardon me. Oh no, there's one more thing I forgot. Cuff, cuff stuffers. These bad boys are like the next level. So you have these, you have these, and then you have these. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how to properly do this. So you have to get used to, get comfortable with where your boot will approximately be on your shin. So how you do this, you actually don't do this until uh, probably tech school because this takes a little while to know how to do. You bring this all the way up to like maybe bottom of your calf. So you bring that and then you do the fold and then you have the elastic. So you have the elastic on the top, but not only that, you have a cuff stuffer, wrap it around your leg like so. You can do that with the other side. See, oh, about bottom of your calf. You have to get comfortable to where it is on your shin. Go, have it go around. I mean, have the fold. Go around, like I said. And then have the cuff suffer. Go around your leg. And then you pull your pants up. This is the supreme way to hold your blousing. Because it is nice and cut and even. You see? So when you have it on, you don't ever have to worry about it. And it looks very, like, hard. Now I'm going to show you how to hang. Skip ahead. <laughs> Skip ahead. Low quality budget. I'm going to take these glasses off. I'm going to put my other glasses on. When you te you can technically have your uh, a your IBU co off in the door. So let's say you're doing your detail, and also you're just much more comfortable. You know you don't have your full sleeve. The material, the material that's made of this. Think of like uh, like canvas, like a like when you have your joggers or like jeans. It's like really, it's like really thick material. It's really durable looking material. What is it actually made of? Fifty percent nylon, fifty percent cotton. So it's really like texturable. Is how I would say it. Now my phone's really low now, yikes. I'll continue this in another video. I'm gonna let my phone charge, pardon me for all this jumping around and everything. See ya.